Well, we are at the end of the 2022 Biostock Life Science Summit, uh, but I am joined now by Paul Falk, the CBO of Oncorena. Welcome, Paul. Thank you so much. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining for this event. Um, what brings you to the Biostock Life Science Summit? Oh, it's a great event. We managed to gather a lot of interesting companies, some great investors, and a great debate about the life science ecosystem. So I highly appreciate the event. Well, it's so good to have you here. And um, uh, it's been a long two days. And uh, I know that uh, the CEO of Oncorena has pitched the company. Uh, how would you say that went? Uh, always great. He's a great CEO and explains it well. So uh, I'm happy for the exposure of Oncorena. Well, could you tell us a little bit more about what Oncorena does? Yeah, I, ca I can. It's it's a very uh, unique mode of action for treatment of uh, metastatic renal cancer. And the story is quite interesting. The substrate comes from, uh, from a mushroom that's very toxic. And then we use it to treat renal cancer. It's highly selective and, it's, um, and it kills the kidney cells. Very effective. It's been shown in preclinical uh, mouse models. So now we just started our phase one study to find uh, the correct dose to go on in the next phase. So we have now um, one site in Sweden, but we transport patients from uh, Nordic countries, but also in Germany. So when we, uh, uh, when we completed the phase one, hopefully we can go into a phase two that could have a potential conditional approval study. So we want to go very quickly into the market because renal cancer today, uh, met the metastatic part is, it's very, it's a good treatment, but they're not curative. So it's almost, almost maximum 15% get cured from the, patient, from the disease. And we hope, and our data show that we could uh, hopefully provide much higher. Uh, what are some exciting milestones that you're looking forward to for the company? Yeah, short term is to complete the dose escalation study to find uh, to find the correct dose to go further on, and then obviously to have the dialogue with the regulators to see if we can have an accelerated approval development plan. And um, like my boss uh, said in, uh, in the, on the stadium, we're well funded, so we're not looking for capital at the moment. But obviously, if this works as good as we hope, we really want to accelerate the development plan. And then we'll start raising uh, funds in the Series B. Sounds all very exciting. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but do you have a base in Oslo as well? Um, not a company, but uh, I'm based in Oslo. And commute here to Lund. Lund. Um, but since you are from Oslo, what um, would you say that... Um, it could be valuable to have an event like this in, in Oslo as well. Is there a growing uh, biotech community there? Absolutely. Uh, Norway has been uh, a bit behind our uh, neighbor countries like Denmark and uh, Sweden. But there's a lot of good activities going on. And you see a lot of promising companies there. So I think absolutely it will be mostly welcome to have a, some sort of event there. Well, sounds very promising, uh, and we hope to, to make it to Oslo at some point very soon. So thank you so much for joining us uh, for, for the event and for this uh, Q&A. Thank you very much for the possibility.